Okay, Adam, uh, convincing 3 0 home win against Lewis in the Sussex Senior Cup. I thought it looked it looked quite comfortable from the commentary box. Your thoughts on the game? No, oh, yeah, definitely. I thought it was a really good performance. Um, you know, they're a really good side. Real uh, lots been made about the amount of goals they score and stuff like that. I know uh, Joe Taylor won't play from today, but still got lots of quality in their ranks. Um, and I thought it was uh, a really good defensive display. Um, and with that. Possibly should have took more chances going the other way. So, all in all, we're, we're looking solid at the back today and creating chances going the other way. And it's a far cry from what it has been. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, choosing choose not obviously conceding four was very disappointing. So, uh, bouncing back the way we did today and the clean sheet, you must be over the moon to be honest. No, yeah, definitely. I, I spoke to the players um, Thursday and, you know, just the, how they've performed over the last few years. Um, you know, the expectation now is, is, is a shock. Uh, i see in a paper that um, Worthing get a shock defeat and, you know, that's down to the players and, and, and how they've performed over the last few years. Um, now it's a, a shock if Worthing gets beat and um, that's the expectation that's risen from them performing so well. Um, so, yeah, it's not a case of bouncing back. It's the expectation now that the boys have created it's for Worthing to win games of football. And, you know, I thought they was excellent. They applied themselves brilliantly. I thought we defended the box with a lot more aggression, we got into good areas, and at the same time, still looked to threat going the other way. So, like I say, all in all, really good performance. Yeah, um, obviously there was no Danny Barker today. Um, saw Jasper uh, get involved in the warm-up today. Is that just a couple of injuries, a couple of niggles within the squad? Yeah, Jasper's still coming back. He's not quite ready. He hasn't had a full training session with us yet. So I'm hoping Jasper Coxie will be training Tuesday and Thursday, um, which will put them a bit more closer into contention for some minutes. Um, and Danny Barker just is a bit tight. You know, he's um, not as robust as some of them, should we say. And, you know, the games do take their toll on, on Danny. And, you know, he's, he's, he's a big lad, real muscular lad, so you know, we just got to manage him when we can and he was a little bit tight on Thursday so we just thought it best for him to have a rest today and um, yeah, give Ty an opportunity to go and go and play and get minutes. Okay, obviously we had three horrible away journeys on, on the bounce and then t today at home, now we've got sort of an eight day gap to till the next game, so how, how important is that gap going to be for the players just to get refreshed and get some energy back? No, definitely not, definitely not, it's a real sort of you know some real um, journeys we we get to go on in that that week. Um, you know Harringay, Brightland Sea, and, and Margate in a week is you know is tough, uh, tough going. Um, but it is what it is. You know no no complaints. We can't use that as any excuses. And it'd be good to get the players and have a full week's worth of training. Um, so we train Tuesday and Thursday, and then be ready to go for you know Monday. Is it? Yeah. Monday. <laughs> ready to go for Monday next week, and um, yeah. On, on the back of that, hopefully now we'll go into to the games and the Christmas period and New Year period with a lot of confidence. Okay, so, um, well, we wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you. Oh, yeah, same. <laughs> Have a good one.